Representative Paul Braun in Georgia does not like gay people, and he also doesn't like transsexuals. Uh, in fact, he was recently talking about Obama's Affordable Care Act, and originally Obama's or Affordable Care Act had a, a portion that would have private insurers pay for sex change operations. Now, I think that that makes all the sense in the world, especially considering the fact that it's a gender identity crisis. You might feel like a man who's trapped in a woman's body and vice versa. So uh, that could be a torturous existence. So I think it only makes sense for private insurers to do it. But not this particular representative. He actually thinks it's a terrible idea. Of course, you know, anything that's not uh, a straight heterosexual male or, or common a traditional. Yeah, common traditional he thinks is absolutely weird. So he says the following, of course, he has a very intelligent reason for why he believes the things he believes. He says, I don't want to pay for a sex change operation. I'm not interested. I like being a boy. Yeah. Yeah, you're an old man. You could say man <laughs> other than, you, you don't have to say boy anymore, but I like that being a boy. Yeah. Like, Unbearable. <laughs> no one, okay. Can, no one is going to sit you down and say, hey, you know what? Private insurers are now paying for sex change operations. Therefore, we're going to lock you down into a seat and we're going to castrate you. And turn. Mm -hmm. No, no, who cares what you like to be? Yeah. No one's going to force you to do anything. No, one, no one's life changes if you legalize same-sex marriage, if you pay for sex change operations. It doesn't impact anyone other than the person uh, that is living with that gender identity crisis. Mm -hmm. But it's like they get enjoyment out of watching people suffer, right? Yeah. Anything that seems weird to them must be illegal. Yeah. Well, and they talk about in this article recently, um, Saxby Chambliss was talking about gay marriage and he said, uh, the, the quote is, I'm not gay, so I'm not going to marry one. Which, like, we've, we've gotten used to at this point that, that most Republicans, like, it's just psychologically, for, for some conservatives, um, they have less empathy. And apparently to, to get elected as a Republican, you have to get rid of all of your empathy. Right. But now it's, it's gone beyond just not feel, feeling empathy for people who, who aren't like you. It's this weird, like, trying to put yourself in their position and only feeling revulsion. Like, it doesn't have anything to do with you. You don't like bearing children either, but health care covers some of that. Right. You still get to be a boy. Don't worry. And a lot of people will see a sex change operation as like an elective procedure, but I don't see it that way at all, mm -hmm. right? Because you're going through, you know, something that is in a lot of ways torturous for you. I mean, you identify as a male, right? And imagine like you have all of these, you know, masculine traits mentally, but you have a female's body, mm -hmm. you know, like you feel trapped in your own body. This is not like, you know, oh, I'm going to go get a nose job or, yeah. you know, it's not like some, it's not fun and games. And I feel yeah. that oftentimes Republicans make it seem like women go out there and get an abortion or people go out there and get a sex change operation because they're looking to have a little fun and they're looking to be a little weird. No, that's not what people are doing. Yeah. Even if it's just about their psychological well-being, if this makes people feel better, healthcare covers psychological treatments as well. Right. So if it fulfills the same role, yeah, you, that's what health insurance is for. The most disturbing part of the story is the fact that this representative is a member of the House Committee on Science, Space, and Technology. I don't know how that happened, but it must stop. Mm -hmm. yeah. How do you become a member of that committee when you just reject science? Oh, well, we, I mean, we covered him when he, he gave the big quote. He mm -hmm. said that uh, evolution, uh, the Big Bang Theory, these are lies straight from the pit of hell. Yep. If you're on the right, is this a guy that you want on your side? Like, do you want to be on the same side of an issue as Paul Brown? Boy. Yeah, someone who refers to himself <laughs> as a boy.